Okay. <laughs> okay. We are finally live. I am still tired from the last time. Let's see. Let me do a couple of things really quick. I hope... Does the mic sound okay if anybody's listening? If anybody is here, is the mic okay? Don't look at this. It's not a bald spot. Trust me, it's just my hair. Yo, what's going on, Techno? How does the mic sound, man? I was trying to work on the settings for the mic to where it sounds pretty... Uh, well, it sounds a little bit better, but I hope it's, you know... I hope it's okay. I hope it doesn't sound, like, too loud. I hope it doesn't sound too quiet. I tried to adjust the settings, so... Geez, is that... It's not a bald spot, guys, right? It's not a bald spot. Okay, let me just um, do a couple of things before we start... Um, so Techno, have you, um, have you, have you made any, um, standard decks yet? Or do you have strictly expanded? Because I know yesterday we played, you had a, a lot of expanded decks. So, um, I'm not sure if you have any standard decks. Josh, Josh, what's going on, Josh? How you been, man? Hope you are doing find this wonderful uh saturday night it is saturday right yeah i think it should be saturday how have you guys been i hope you guys are doing great you and techno i hope you guys are doing good just gonna wait a little bit longer uh to see if anybody else is gonna hop in i'm pretty sure they'll probably join in later uh techno you only have expanded okay that's not that's not uh that's not bad man um i actually I actually don't have a dedicated standard deck, but I do have um, I do have decks that work with expanded. So, but I think for tonight's stream, I think what we're gonna do is we're gonna strictly focus on the water horse deck. Um, I've been wanting to get this deck rolling. I finally, I know I posted you guys in the Discord. Um, Pretty much the updated uh, version of this deck I had, so it's been pretty good. But we are gonna focus this so to where I can get familiar with it. So I will be battling you guys with a lot of water horse tonight. Uh, Josh, you've been good. You can't play today because you're away. Hey man, that's good. As long as you're doing good, Josh, that's all that matters, man. Uh, that's fine. You don't have to. Yeah, you, um, you don't have to worry about uh, being able to play, Josh. Uh, that's fine, but. That's fine, man. Don't even worry about it. Just, I'm just, you know, thankful that you stopped by on the stream tonight. Um, but yeah, like I was saying, guys, um, so far, this deck has actually been pretty okay. So, this is what we're working with here. I decided to go, I think uh, the Sableyes also does a 4-3 combo of Calyrex V and the VMAX. I got, um, I, I use a Mew. For the bench barrier effect simply because there's a lot of rapid strikes uh that a lot of that that basically like to do a lot of damage to the bench so i also play one copy of each of the Dedane gx and the crowbat v i only play one copy of each just because uh i do play two copies of pat to the peak to throw off any um zacians or eternatus and things like that uh how am I, Josh? I I'm actually pretty tired, Josh. If you can't tell, I know uh, you can't really see my face too well. Let me see if you can. Uh, <laughs> let me see if you can see it like this. I am actually pretty tired, man. Don't don't worry about the clothes in the back. I need to clean that up. My eyes are like super red. I am super tired, but uh, yeah, we're we're gonna get through this stream after this, and then I'm gonna pretty much have to do some homework. So, yeah. That is how I am doing tonight, Josh. <laughs> Thanks for asking, man. So, um, I guess for, I guess we don't really have to wait around too much. We can go ahead and get started with some battles right off the bat. As you guys can see here, um, before I made the updates, overall wins was 7. I played it 15 times. So, not the best to start off with. Um, after the edit, I, it's 4 and 7. Uh, so four wins three losses not too bad there, but it's doing okay So I mean who wants to be the first battle of the night? I am down. I'm actually ready to go ahead and start battling so maybe later we can do uh, Maybe later we'll hop into a tournament. Yeah You're tired as well Josh bro. Tell me about it, man. Like 
I got I have some energy drinks that I got sent to by this company called Raise. Um I guess I could do a review like during the stream to help me watch. Like hold on. Hold on really quick. I will be right back. Okay. Okay. Hold on. We got it. We got to change it to this one. Okay. This is what I got sent uh, by this company called Rays. Right. It's basically uh, it's basically a bunch of energy drinks, and I wanted to do a product review on it, um, but I just haven't gotten around to it. Maybe I think would be like the ideal time to do it. You know now, but uh, well, not during the stream, of course, but. Pretty much, it's it's a uh, it, it's basically energy drinks. So maybe I can do a product review on this uh, sometime soon. That way, I won't complain about being tired anymore. But yeah, this is uh, this is the product that I got sent. So, Techno, you have one deck of the standard, but it's with L Lyson that does the same. That boss. Oh, oh, okay, okay. Um. That's not too bad, man. That that um, I mean that's still good, honestly. Like it, it Lisan, I can't, Lyson, Lisan. What? I'm not too sure the name, but yeah, it, it that's just still work, man. Um, by the way, Techno, do you want to go ahead and uh be the first battle of the night? Um, let me see. I think you just go in limited. I think Water Horse. Yeah, Water Horse should work for unlimited by the way so <laughs> looks good thanks josh i mean i just basically um yeah i i gotta get around to doing the video you know uh you're i'm english i think is lissandry oh lissandry okay okay um techno did you want to battle or actually really quick let's go ahead and do the um I'm going to try it out one, once before we actually start battling with you guys. So that way I can actually um, get a little bit more familiar with it. Because I just recently updated it. So I wouldn't be surprised if I'm so a little rusty on it. But, but we'll see. Let me... Uh, game capture. There we go. That way you guys don't see like all the unnecessary computer screens and stuff. Okay. Let's see let's see what we're gonna do here. Uh okay. Okay, we start off with a sobble. Uh not not the greatest. Uh it doesn't look like we have any way to draw, but we do have keep calling, so we can thin the deck that way. <laughs> it would be a zero aura. We'll throw Path to the Peak down just because we don't want him to uh, Crobat or Dedane anything. We want him to be as stuck and bricked as we are because we're selfish like that. We can't have him getting the upper hand here. So and let, let's see. Hopefully with uh, Keep Calling, we can spin the deck. I mean, th thin the deck. To try to get a draw engine out or a Marnie or Professor's Research. So we'll see. We'll see what our opponent's move is going to be. Okay. Tower of Waters, I guess. Okay. A Brawly. I wonder if they did have a Dedane in the hand. I, I, I wouldn't doubt it. <clears throat> a Dedane or a Crobat. That's what I want to say they would probably have. Hmm. Man, they're really thinking on they're they're really thinking really hard on this turn. Energy attachment. Hmm. Still still there's a crowbat called it. Prob a possible detaining. I think so. Hold on, let me uh I don't know why I keep getting copyrighted, guys. I I keep getting copyrighted when it comes to uh, me putting like the music out there. Um, 
yeah, I have no idea why I am getting um, copyrighted, but it's not fun. Actually, let's go ahead and can't really do much, but we'll go ahead and get the last Sobble onto the bench while I try to look for some music that hopefully doesn't get me uh, copyrighted because for whatever reason, I've been getting copyrighted literally uh, every time I play music on the live stream, which is so weird because the stuff that I actually play is supposed to be copyright free music. So I have no idea what's going on there. Let's see. It's not looking too good already. If we can't... If we can't get, uh, if we can't get anything to switch out or to draw cards with, we're going to be pretty stuck. <laughs> yeah, no, for real, Josh, it, it is pretty stupid, man. Like, I, I, I have no idea, like why you know like I, I keep getting copyrighted strike uh it's not like it affects me anyway because i'm not monetized yet um uh, but later when i actually do get monetized i will more than likely uh the videos that are copyrighted strike won't be making me any money so yeah there's that so we can try to get out of this but i don't know if this is gonna work because we're kind of stuck here, but let's let's just see if we can get out of this. We're gonna we're just gonna professor's research. We're not gonna Marnie. We need to draw as many cards as we can to try to get something going. If we can get a Mew. That would be great. Thank you. That that is actually perfect. Um. Okay, we got another Sobble that's actually really good too. What can we do? Okay. I'm thinking we can... I'm thinking we can just quick ball this. We'll quick ball it, and then we'll get the Water Horse. Let's... We'll just use the Pow Pad already. Get both of those back just so we can have the draw engine there we will get rid of the evo incense get the water horse probat attach the water horse and we end our turn i i can't believe we actually came back from that we have a, a whole setup now from what looked like we were a, a definite loss. We actually came back from that. That's insane. Okay, so... From what I can see here is I'm pretty sure he's going to... If he has a boss, he'll probably boss me. If not, he'll just take go for the knockout. But I don't see him really... Um, really messing with us too much here. It was so it was so clutch that we got that Mew. That Mew showing up was seriously clutch because now we can uh, we can actually save our bench from this uh, rapid strike damage. This is exactly what I mean by you need a Mew with bench barrier, it, uh, especially with chilling rain out. Everything does spread damage, man. Everything does spread damage. Josh, did I build this deck myself or did I copy it? So basically what I did was I like to get there. I saw the boss coming, you know, I called it. I called it, you know, it was bound to happen. Um, so Josh, to answer your question, um, I do actually, I copied this build from the Sableyes. I got, I got a little bit of ideas from the Sableyes. I didn't copy it exactly 100% because there are cards in here that I swapped out to try to get it a little bit more consistent. But for the most part, um, it's the template of the Sableyes build for the Water Horse. 
but it's in like my own edited way uh, that's pretty much how I like to do a lot of my deck builds. I like to see what the pros are playing. And if I see that something's a little bit inconsistent or something that I don't really like myself, I'll change it up or I'll, I'll, I'll tweak it a little bit and add things to uh, to more of my play style. But yeah, for the most part, that's pretty much what I do. So I think we'll do that. Go ahead and quick shooting there. We'll go ahead and attach the Melanie. Okay, that's not too bad. It look, yeah, no, for sure, it really is one. It's a, it's a really solid deck build so far. It, when I edit it, it was, it's actually doing really good. But when I got the base, um, the base copy from the Sableyes, I was struggling a lot. I did not even have a fifty percent win ratio. One, two, three, four, five, six. We'll go. We're gonna go ahead and take the knockout here. But yeah, that's what I mean. Like, so it's always good to watch the pros, right? It's always good to watch the pros deck builds, uh, to get to get what they're building and and uh, copy it. But it will only be as good as how you decide to play it and how you make it, because everybody's play style is different. Everybody's uh, deck builds are are different as well. It, it it's good to see the flaws even in uh, the pros deck builds. So my advice is like go like get your base off of the pros but then make it your own that that's pretty much what i like to do a lot in my decks uh and it helps a lot it's really good for starters too because i'm a starter i i'm 100 percent like i am i am no in no way a professional but what i like to do is i like to get the ideas from the professionals and then just make them my own uh, that's probably like the best advice that I can give people who are starting starting out on the TCGO is watch the pros. If you don't have every single card the pro has, tweak it to your own way and uh, make it make it work for you. That's pretty much what I can uh, recommend you guys to do. So let's see. He's hitting for 130. Our only problem is I don't think we had Ordinary Rod in this deck. So we can't get the Mew back, so he's going to be able to knock out uh, one of these on the bench. Yeah, yeah, pretty much, Josh. It's uh, it, it's per it's personalized to your own playstyle, exactly. Um, if you're more of a... Uh, fast hitting uh quick drawing person you know a lot of cards uh pretty much uh have to work in your favor that way uh there's a lot of things that you can do to tweak it um try it is the best way for sure for sure techno trying uh trying it is the best way <laughs> yeah i have an ice rider deck it's absolutely disgusting so I think what we're going to do is we're going to try to get rid of this Zera Aura on the bench. Um, let's fingers crossed. We do have the Inteleon. So we'll get a Capacious Bucket, a Boss's Order, and take out that one on the bench. Capacious Boss. That's what we need. Capacious Boss. Take out the Zera Aura on the bench get the water horse uh, the the second water horse established go ahead and get rid of a marnie get the water horse on the bench and quick shooting the blaziken and then Max Lance for, for a one-shot knockout. A, an Oko is really, really good. Especially for Pokemon Vs like this that like to spread damage. It's really annoying. And they, they, they got rid of our Mew, so it, we had to focus getting that one out of play. Because Blaziken VMAX only does 130 damage. It's not, uh, it's not a damage dealer. It's meant to set up uh, your Zera Auras, pretty much. So, from what it looks like here, we're actually in a very good position. 
uh we crawled back literally for those of you who were here from the start we had nothing we were decked out pretty bad we were bricked we only had sobbles on the bench and look at us we turned it around uh this is what i mean by uh editing it tweaking it to your own style like before i did the edits for the sableye's base build i was losing man i was i was getting completely destroyed uh ever since i added a couple of things myself got rid of changed a few things this deck has actually been performing very very consistently and it's been able to get me out of uh, uh quite a bit of the um quite a bit of spots here except for when they do that of course when they marty you that kind of throws everything off off but what can you do right still didn't affect this okay I, I like that it still did not affect this too much max blaze that's fine we'll still be able to get off another attack it would be great if we can top deck uh a calyrex v max nope that's fine that is fine by me that was our last energy though <laughs> oh man so i think we only have one weakness guard left that probably won't get us much this is gonna be interesting man this is actually gonna be really interesting <laughs> we actually don't have any way to get retrieve uh to get energy so let's you know i think this i think this takes the knockout though yeah we still win though but it, that, so i think in in scenarios like that uh since we literally came back from nothing we came back from just three sobbles on the bench i think what we can do is in the event that uh the game prolongs like that um getting your energy is crucial so i think we need to add probably a nessa but i need to figure out how i'm gonna implement at least one nessa into the deck but yeah yeah guys that's the water horse deck that i have been working on uh myself and it's been it's been producing so with that being said who wants to challenge the water horse deck techno um I know we were supposed to battle Techno, so if you're ready to battle, I am ready to battle you. Just send me that invite. I'll definitely, um, I'll definitely go ahead and battle you. But yeah, we're five and eight now after the edit, eight and sixteen before the edit. That's a huge difference, guys. Always, always try to work it into your favor. Should rename it to the clutch deck. <laughs> That's what I'm saying, man. I, I mean, you saw it, Josh. We were literally stuck, man. We had nothing. All we needed was one drizzle, and we turned it around, and we ended up winning. <laughs> you have a good deck, Techno. <laughs> That's what I love to see, man. I, I love to see when you you come down. You're you're down from the pits of nothing. And then you turn it around and you get the dub. That's what I love to see. So let's go ahead and put up our fishing for Pokemon uh, banner there. Just so we don't show our hand too much. Oh, Blacef is this the Blacephalon deck you played yesterday? I think it's the Blacephalon deck. Let's see how the Water Horse does against it. So we have we have a an an okay hand for the most part. Actually, it's not that bad. It's not that good actually. It's going to be a it's going to be a little bit of a hassle maybe. But let's see let's see what our let's see what our boy Techno is going to is going to do here. Quick ball. Reshiram. A Reshiram. So it, with that. Um, 
He didn't get that energy attach. Fire. I have not seen a Reshiram, Reshiram in a while, man. 90 damage for each 90 times 3. Wow, 270 damage. That's pretty uh that's pretty crazy. And when it only requires two energy to attack. Okay. Let's see what we can get going here. Get our Sobble on the bench. Uh, we're going to go ahead and Marnie. Just, just to throw off Techno. Just to throw him off. We're going to go ahead and Marnie him. <laughs> we got two more Water Horses. Not bad. And we'll just hit for 40. Can you get the two turn? Can you get the knockout here though? That's the thing. If you can get a welder, I'm pretty sure you can. Switch. Do you have a welder? I think you do. I think no. Turbo patch, that's what you're going for. Okay. Standard versus expanded deck, huh? Is there a big difference in that? I'm, I'm not really too familiar with standard, so... Any of those are... Oh, man, that's tough. Well, that's a knockout. Turbo patch. Hmm, okay. Well, I think you might have the switch then, right? You don't have the switch. Okay, that's... That actually helps us a lot. Go ahead and professor's research. Um, okay, not the best. How pad away that. Boss. I think we're just going to try to go for the attack. Mm. Probably should have used that to get the Sobble, but too late. No? Nothing? Okay. Uh, I guess it doesn't want me to get the Calyrex VMAX. Okay. So then we'll get it ourselves then. That's why you love the Drizzle. The Drizzle helps so much, man. Okay. Yeah, let's go ahead and get that. Okay. Let's get the Water Horse VMAX. The Ice Rider VMAX. Let's go ahead and get the knockout. Okay. Okay, not too bad. Not too bad. So you're gonna probably do your GX attack. No? Okay. Well, you're probably gonna probably gonna switch into it. Crossbreak DX does 170 damage to one of your opponent's bench Pokemon. If you played ends resolve from your hand during this turn, this attack also does 170 damage to your opponent's other bench Pokemon. Wow. So you're hitting you're hitting our bench for 170. You're hitting two of our bench for 170. That's a problem, man. Oh, I see why you can't use that yet, though. You don't have an electric energy. So you're going to hit for 270. Okay. Fair enough. Fair enough. I'm trying to think... I'm trying to think what we can do here to come back from that because I think we have an answer for it, if I'm not mistaken. I think we have an answer for it. Because I know we're about to get hit with 270.
Okay. Okay. So I think we should be okay. Um, I think. I'm not sure here. Um, but I think we should be okay. We'll max Lance. Wait, that's weird. Discard up to three in any combination of basic attacks, energy. Oh, on your benched Pokemon. Okay. Okay. I see. I read it wrong. I thought it was, I thought it was off the main attacker. Okay. 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 I got it. Okay, big brain moves right now. Big brain plays. We love to see the big brain plays. 300 IQ big brain play coming up right now. Path to the peak. Evo incense for another Calyrex. Big brain play right here. So we have another attack ready. So now we got a free knockout with the 20 damage uh, by our boy and Telly on there. <laughs> Big brain play. That's what I'm saying. 300 IQ. Let's go. We're, we're a little bit awake now. Okay. Okay. Let's see. What can we do here? Get the water. We can hit four. One, two, three, four. Yep, we can take the knockout here too. So now we need one more knockout and we win this game. <laughs> Ice Rider, Ice Rider, baby, that's the, that's the water horse. I'm telling you, water horse is absolutely busted. Reshi Ram and Reshi Ram, insane man. Insane. I love this deck, honestly. I before, guys, before this de uh, this deck, I was getting so mad at this deck. Um, I was raging because I was losing. There, I was. I had no idea why I kept losing, and it clicked in me that like the cards that I was playing just weren't really synergizing with each other, and yeah like that's what that's what you have to keep playing it over and over again even though you get mad because you're consistently losing the more you play it the more you'll see the flaws in your deck and you'll be able to change it but yeah now i love this deck like this deck can literally get me out of uh, uh, practically anything interesting ends resolve oh man that's tough is this a ggs techno i think it is a ggs That's the I think that's like the 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 big problem with this card is that you need energy on your bench Pokemon to to do the attacks because if, if you don't if you don't have if you don't have the energy 
to discard yeah that, that that's a ggs man so we'll go ahead and finish it off right here with the max lance knockout that was a good battle techno you you really had uh you really had me concerned in the beginning man i didn't think we were going to be able to pull that off but that was a that was a really good battle techno okay so guys six and nine now we're our, our water horse is 69ing right now perfect perfect deck so far can't complain about it at all really it, it's just it's it's been working with me like i i want to say the previous build uh that mitch had he was using a mar shadow in place of uh a mar shadow and i think an extra an extra something i can't remember what mitch was using but i know i got rid of a pokecoms because i think he played three in his deck i got rid of a pokecom i got rid of the marsh shadow i added two pow pads and um i did add the the melanies too i don't think mitch had the melanies in his deck but um yeah no the the, the melanie is a huge part of this deck uh, I added the pow pads because of how important this card is to to get the the ice rider going. It's really good, man. It's really good. <laughs> Don't worry, Josh. Uh, you better be going now. Sorry, you wasn't here long, but uh, you got to get some sleep. You have a big day tomorrow. Don't worry about it, Josh. You are fine, man. Uh, we're, our stream isn't probably going to be that long either. I, I wanted to say it was like a going to be like an hour and thirty. But I think we'll just do an hour stream because I myself am exhausted. But I wanted to show you guys the new updated water horse. So with that being said, guys, I want to try to take this deck into a tournament. Um, you guys are more than welcome to hop in. But hopefully we don't get we don't uh, hopefully we don't lose turn one into the tournament. But you guys are more than welcome to hop in. I'm going to go ahead and do a standard tournament. So I know Techno, I, unfortunately, you won't be able to join it. But um, yeah, we play standard here. We're going to try to get some uh, rewards going. We're going to try to get some chilling rain packs, um, three standard booster packs, and 400 coins. That's basically another two extra uh, chilling rain packs. So we'll see. We'll see if we don't get eliminated round one with our water horse. But um yeah hopefully hopefully we can actually get to at least the semi-finals um or i'm sorry at least the finals that way we can uh, get second place where we're guaranteed at least uh two chilling rain booster packs and an extra one considering for uh the 200 tokens so i i am uh curious to see how our water horse is gonna hold up in a tournament that's probably going to feature a lot of uh rapid strikes uh urshifus um what else what else where we'll probably see adp zacian we'll probably see that here that's going to be a big factor for us if we go against adp zacian which it looks like we are uh we're gonna have a bit of a problem here it's okay okay it's a good thing we got the weakness guard first because I'm pretty sure it is a Zacian deck. How ironic, right? How ironic is a Zacian deck? Go ahead and get Probat. If we can get a path to the peak, that would be fantastic. We do not get a path to the peak, but that is okay. We do have the drizzle for next turn. I think we I think we get the Melanie and we just try to start attacking. Uh or should we get the path to the peak? So we can completely shut down Zacian. It's gonna be tough, guys. This is our. This is literally our weakness matchup. Uh, I I knew it, man. I, you you can't you can't not join a tournament and expect to get ADP Zacian and to get Zacians in general. And it's always heads, man. Crushing Hammer is always heads against me. 
insane okay best case scenario here we get melanie uh we got path to the peak that's actually pretty helpful and a didene so we have a way to come back from this there's a zamazenta we can probably hit the zamazenta for yeah for glacial lance but okay it looks like he's he's uh he's not doing too good yeah we're gonna get the melanie hopefully we can get the v max and then we'll dedane away we got the v max let's go okay perfect Oh, I, I'm, I'm so, I'm. I, okay, I take back my 300 IQ big brain because I completely forgot we have Path to the Peak. <laughs> oh, okay, okay. I'm a fool. I will admit I am a fool for that. Okay. How are we going to do this? We need a boss's order. We need a top deck a boss. That would be great if we can top deck a boss. Actually, we, we're probably going to get knocked out here if he's going to... Okay. Uh, Yo, take the Dedene, man. Take this Dedene out. <laughs> okay. Crushing hammer. Tails, please, please, can we get a tails? Bro, what is up with crushing hammers against me, bro? I swear, it's like, it's like, it's, it's ridiculous, man. <laughs> I swear, if it's another heads, I'm gonna be upset. Tails. my gosh man we're we're we are bricked as well we are bricked here um let's try to just thin the deck we need a, a melanie or a water energy and then we can get a knockout here <laughs> this path to the peak really ruined it for both of us i guess <laughs> Yeah, now it's only 150 IQ play. I lost IQ on that move, man. Like, I, I swear. Yeah, please, just start attacking, man. Knock this Dedene out. Okay, perfect. Perfect. Okay. We just need a water energy, guys. We just need a water energy to, to get the knockout. Okay. I like that, though. We'll take that. Oh my gosh. We still don't have anything, man. Yo, just take the knockout. <laughs> yeah, just just take the knockout, man. Hopefully he doesn't get anything. No Marnie, no boss. That'd be great. Quick ball. He can't play to Danes or Crobats. Doesn't matter. Zacian, that's fine. Path to the Peak is really slowing him down here. So we'll be able to get the knockout. We got the Melanie to, at to attach energy. Okay. That's fine. <laughs> We're doing this, guys. We're doing this. We don't have... What? We prized three water horses? Wow. We prized three water horses, guys. That's never happened to me before. 
What in the world? Look at that. Are we going to get all three? Oh my gosh. Or, or, or two at least. Crushing hammer. What are you gonna what are you gonna crush, man? Energy spinner. That path to the peak, guys, is wrecking this deck, man. It is so it is so potent against ADP. Lily's Poke Doll. Can we we're gonna get we're gonna get uh Oh man, even if we had a boss, so it wouldn't matter. Yeah, we're going to get our energy. Water horse. Attach here. We're going to get um, the Melanie and we're going to take out. OK, I got it. Big brain play coming. Big, big, big brain play somewhat coming. Right, because we're going to get the Melanie. Okay, we're gonna keep the Inteleons there. Okay, I like it. Okay, it's a, it's 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 looking okay for us so far, guys. Boss's order. Do we have a switch? We do not have a switch. Uh, we can get the switch though. We can get the switch here. Yes. He, he forfeited. <laughs> okay, okay, he forfeited. We, we're we're good. We advance to the next round. We cheesed him really bad with that path to the peak. But hey, you know we got it. We got to do what we got to do it to shut down ADP Zacian. I'm so glad we did because that deck is so annoying to play against. I can't wait for it to go out of rotation, by the way. Yeah, it, it, it's it's a really annoying deck, guys. So we advance. We advance to the semifinals. Let's see if this can if we can bring it home, man. Let's see if we can bring it home, win ourselves a tournament with the water horse, and I will forever uh I will forever put the water horse on my top tier deck builds like i think I'm, i want to say like top three deck builds honestly uh the next one that i need to do the next one i uh the next time i get paid i am gonna build the shadow rider deck next because that one is disgustingly strong as well but i think in terms of of quickness and in terms of like knockout potential water horse just can't be beat literally turn two knockouts uh, on any v on any v for that matter and uh paired with the inteleon quick shooting you can literally take out gx's as well uh with uh adps luke metals uh before they get the the pop off and uh like we had played techno earlier we uh we just took out techno's uh reshi ram uh reshi ram with literally just the quick shooting so i think i think water horse water horse's potential is a little bit better in terms of quickness but long drawn out battles the the shadow rider is probably the better one to go with no way you win this whole thing because of path of the peak <laughs> honestly i wouldn't i wouldn't be surprised if that is the case because path of the peak shuts down gx's and v's with um with abilities so if we get eternatus we can shut that down it will have no way to do real damage so we're gonna see guys we're gonna see how path to the peak this might even be a path to the peak video it's not even a water horse video it's a path to the peak video how's the how's the audio too i feel like it's like it's like super loud or like it, it's breaking the threshold almost of like the red so i'm gonna lower the decibels down a little bit hopefully that doesn't affect too much but i feel like i'm like yelling in your guys's ears so we have 13 minutes to kill if only i could uh battle you guys in the middle of the tournament that would be great 
Um, okay, well, it looks like Crow just advanced. You're playing with an annoying Gengar? Uh, I can't... Hold on. You're playing with an annoying Gengar player. You hate him. <laughs> no, for sure, man. Um, what deck is he... What deck is it playing, uh, Techno? What what kind of uh, Gengar deck is it? Is it a Gengar Mimikyu? Because that one is very annoying, man. I despise Gengar Mimikyu because... Because of the fact that when I played it, it didn't get me anywhere. Like, I played it, and um, you use the, the GX ability, and it's supposed to work in your favor, but it never works in my favor. It literally always uh, causes me to hit for, like, 50. They end up having, like, two trainers in their hand. It's tough, man. Yeah, Gengar Mimikyu, I figured, man. It's, a, it's an annoying deck. So, let's go ahead and check out how much our... How much our um, cost is going to be to get the Shadow Rider Calyrex V? Let's see. I want to say, I, I hope it's not uh expensive because to build the the ice rider i had to do i had to trade at least 12 packs a piece per v max i think the v's itself were only like four but um it was like 12 packs for um for the v max of the ice rider so let's get that ready while the trades load is it just me is it is it just mine or is literally okay it takes forever to load are you guys seeing that thirty packs oh well it's a it's a rainbow rare I guess but thirty packs man 30 packs that's insane 62 packs oh this is the the alternate art 30 packs is nobody trading v maxes 30 packs for one card man that's crazy okay some people want some ridiculous trades sometimes um I guess nobody's trading V maxes. Okay, well, that's kind of uh, crazy, but let's see uh, the regular V's. No, nobody's trading V's either. Wow, man, is that is it that high demand? So I think what I'm gonna do is I actually have. Um, let's see. I might try to trade the uh blaziken alternate art i might try to trade this one for um shadow riders i don't know if i should get four shadow riders for this or okay looks like we're going into the next round already huh let's see let's see guys if we can if we can use if we can use water horse to take us to the finals here it's a dark deck. Is this a possible Eternatus deck? Let's see if Pat to the Peak is the MVP of this of this uh, tournament. Yeah, I would like to go first. I got a turn two knockout. Okay, hey, you know. Uh, sure, we'll take a freaking Gengar in the first spot. I mean, a, a Crobat. Let's see. Zigzagoon. Yeah, this looks like a this looks like an Eternatus deck. How funny. Okay. Let's go ahead and get an Ice Rider. Let's go ahead and throw a Melanie away. Um, we have two. We have our Pal Pads. Three Ice Riders three um three ice rider v maxes three regular ice riders should be okay 
I think what we'll do is we'll evolve and path to the peak. Um, Cause I'm more than, I'm like 90% sure this is a, an Eternatus deck. Oh. Or it could be a uh, Sableyes. We're gonna find out right now. There you go. Called it guys. Called it an Eternatus deck. Okay. We're about to see Path to the Peak be an MVP in this game. Okay. If only we had a water energy to discard, that would have been that would have been really good. He got rid of a V Max, okay. Big charm. So the thing is, if he if it's a smart Eternatus deck build, if he's a smart builder for the Eternatus. He will have chaotic swells in his um in his arsenal so i wonder if that's what he was going for We need to try to get a switch. Pokecoms, please get a search for an Eternatus. That would be huge. That way we can just Marnie him. It's just, it, it's, it sucks because Eternatus can take, can get set up instantly, man. It, it can get set up so quickly. It's insane. Okay, well, at least we know it's an Eternatus, so we can Marnie him next turn. Okay. There's our path to the peak. I think we go ahead and get... Um, get our Evo Incense. Right yeah yeah we get our evil incense to get the uh ice rider already up so that thins the deck a little bit but we're gonna need um a water energy and a switch preferably we'll see right now if we get it we'll see right now if we get it we got the water energy that's perfect we got the inteleon too Okay, I like it. Not bad, but we don't have a way to get out of this hand. So we just gotta hope that this guy does not play any chaotic swells. If he doesn't play any chaotic swells, that'd be great. No Eternatus, no Eternatus, no Eternatus. So, how? How did he get that, man? That's insane. We Marnied him, and he had an Eternatus in the top seven cards of his hand. Well. Oh, okay. Okay, let's go. Okay. I guess he does not have a Chaotic Swell. Maybe just FFs? Maybe? This Path to the Peak will be good? Maybe? He does not. <laughs> Let's go, guys. We're getting some we're getting some good um some good playability here, okay. I think we Inteleon to put some damage here. Let's go ahead and uh whittle that out. And then Capacious Bucket. Let's go. We're getting it. We're getting it. Okay. Put the Sobble down. Water Horse. Switch. Anything we can do here. Anything we can do here. Um. No. Let's, let's just go for the hit. Let's go. You sent the Gengar player to Hello Kitty online. <laughs> Techno, did you send him to the Shadow Realm, man? You gotta send you got to send the Gengar Mimikyu's 
to the Shadow Realm, all right? So far, Path to the Peak is coming in clutch for us right now against this Eternatus deck. This very well might be, this very, this video might be titled Path to the Peak MVP. I'm not even joking, guys. I'm not even joking. It might be Path to the Peak MVP. Okay. Let's go ahead and hit him with a Max Lance. Rip eight tickets. <laughs> oh man, that's tough, dude. That's tough, man. Hopefully he's still stuck. Oh man, he marnied us. Okay, that's not too bad. That's not too bad. We still have a Sobble on the bench. Eveltal. He does not have it. Most valuable path. <laughs> There you go, Victor. That's a that's smart thinking there. Um, okay, so quick shooting. You have a good deck. Send the heart. We're gonna do that. So the thing is, do we chance it? We're gonna, so we're gonna have to attach the energy. Marnie, no, because even if we Marnie, we're not, we're gonna, we're gonna just set up the next water horse. Or, or what we can do is attach boss's order and then in our turn. And hope, fingers crossed, he doesn't have a switch. And hope, fingers crossed, he forfeits. <laughs> no, he got a professor's research. Oh man, that's uh, no pat, no, no chaotic swells, please. Oh, tell me he didn't get it. Tell me he didn't get it. What are the odds, man? What are the odds? Okay, we're in a bit of a situation here. We are in a bit of a situation here. <laughs> oh, man. We were this close, guys. We were this close to shutting him down. We just needed one. He's looking for a switch, for sure. He's looking for a switch. And I think... How is the game called? Um, what, what do you mean? Uh, what do you mean, RB? How, how is that game called? Um... All I'm gonna, I don't, uh, I think you mean like uh, this game's TCGO, Pokemon Trading Card Center game online, but I'm calling it uh, a fluke, man, because it he he got so lucky getting that chaotic swell on the top deck of the professor's research, man. This was a this could have been a, an easy win for us had that path to the peak stayed there, because I think what he's gonna do now is he's gonna Galarian Moltres uh energy switch and then just take the knockout which is going to leave us in a really bad spot okay okay it looks cool yeah man i i i, I definitely recommend it if um if you are new and want to get into it this game is very very fun you, you do have to think a little bit but it, it's definitely worth it oh man so unfortunate so unfortunate man capacious bucket for the clutch
That was our last water energy. <laughs> oh, this isn't good. This is not good at all. Um, is there a link for it? Um, there is, I, I think there is. If somebody in the chat wants to put the link really quick, um, I need to think here. I need to think. Do I risk it? Do I risk it to hit? Do I risk it to hit for the 240? Yeah, yeah. I, we, we do it. We do it. We do it. We, we, we got to risk it because we've got Inteleon that can knock out this guy on the bench. Okay, we're, we're still we're still somewhat safe, guys. Um, RB Games, hold on. Let me uh, see if I can pull up that link for you. Again, Inteleon coming clutch with that. Um, with that. Copy. Okay. There is the link. Um, there is the link, uh, RB. Hopefully, you can download it from that. I think we win here, guys. I think we win here. Is it enough? It is not enough. It is not enough. Okay. Okay. We need to Dedane. We need to Dedane. Hold on, hold on. I gotta think, cause this is this is huge. If I knock him out here, he goes here and he attacks us for two seventy max. He can boss an attack so i think we're still good i think we're still good we're gonna try to get the other intellion to, to to win we got it we got it we got it we got it guys we we freaking got it <laughs> no way we just got we just got the win guys we just got the win here well played <laughs> oh my gosh guys we freaking did it <laughs> what in the world man that was oh my gosh that was super super close we are going to the finals in this tournament guys we freaking pulled it off with the water horse we are doing it this deck has just absolutely blown my expectations away if you guys want to make this deck i highly recommend you do it i can't i can't believe it man i can't believe how close that was we freaking did it guys let's go <laughs> let's go hey bull, bro you just missed it man you just missed the craziest uh clutch that i've pulled off so far we were we were doing him dirty with uh with path to the peak with his eternatus until he got it and it looked pretty bad man it looked pretty bad i'm not gonna lie but we are in the finals of this tournament so let's see if we can come out on top man if you play versus the guy with gangar destroy him i'll try man i will try <laughs> yeah for sure rb for sure man uh hopefully you can get into it like everybody else uh i'm pretty sure here has it is a very fun game to play, man. Uh, a lot of thinking involved sometimes, but when when it actually pays off, it is incredible. It's a it's an Urshifu rapid strike. I mean, Urshifu single strike deck. Destroy him, please. <laughs> hey, Techno, I will try my best, man. Uh, we have an we have a decent start here. The Tornadus, we. I don't think we get the turn two knockout, but um, let's see. Let's see how we, how we can do this. 
It's not a it's not a it's not an Urshifu, it's a tornadus. Okay. You were searching for a game like this? Yeah, R RB, RB, the thing about this game is it is tailored to anybody of any specific level. It doesn't matter if you're familiar with card games or not. It is uh very, very um it's a very, very easy game to play. Let's just hit him for 40. It, it, it literally like <laughs> Yeah, Hable, bro, Hable, you missed it, man. You missed it. We we started this tournament and we were um it looked pretty it looked pretty crazy, man. We were when we were starting it. But um it, it's we're in the finals now, Hable. It, uh when this video goes up, check the VOD after this video is out and uh you'll see, man. You'll see this it, it it's crazy. It's crazy, bro. I'm telling you. Okay. Capacious. We get the knockout. Okay, but you're gonna go. You'll hit you with a like and a sub. Hey, thanks so much, RV. Thank you for the like and sub, man. I really appreciate that. Um, let's get an Inteleon uh, uh, Sobble set up. We're gonna one shot that uh, Landorus or Tornadus. Yeah, nothing else to do here. Max Lance for the knockout. Okay, see what I mean? See what I mean, guys? Literally, turn three knockout, right? Or turn two? I, I, I don't remember what it was. But turn two knockout, he has nothing pretty much going for him at this point. So we're doing pretty okay so far. We just might come out with this, guys. Water Horse just might, just might get us there. I'm not going to jinx myself yet. But it just might get us there. Oh man, guys. <laughs> what a what I just I'm not gonna say anything until this tournament is over, but I will more than likely I, I will more than likely celebrate. Oh man, he marnied us. Bro, we had another knockout. Whatever. Whatever. If we can get a, a water energy, let's go. Okay, let's go. Water energy, uh, Crobat, and Path to the Peak. So we won't Path to the Peak just yet. We'll Crobat and then Path to the Peak. That seems like the viable option. We got the Melanie too. Let's go. Okay. We got the other Water Horse. Guys, we got, we have gotten crazy, crazy hands, man. Okay, one, two, three. I think what we do is we'll just attack. Yeah, we won't play anything yet because we need the Crobat just in case. So go ahead and go for the knockout here. This it's so disruptive, man. So disruptive. There's no way he can get off that huge blasting hammer attack. He played. He played Karina's Conviction, right? Okay. Yeah, actually, you know what? We should have passed to the peak. We should have passed him. So we should have done. We did it! We freaking did it, guys! <laughs> we did it! We freaking won! <laughs> Let's go! <laughs> oh my gosh, we freaking did it! It wants me to win. <laughs> the RNG! <laughs> the RNG! Let's go! We freaking did it! <laughs> Let's go, man! We just won first place in this tournament with our boy Water Horse, but I can honestly say the MVP of this tournament has to go to Path to the Peak for shutting down the Zacian, for shutting down the Eternatus. Super, super busted card. My hair is all messed up from like that, that stuff. Easy game. That's what I'm saying, Victor. Let's go. Let's go. <laughs> Yeah, Hable, we just won, man. We we won the tournament. 
we got our three uh chilling rain packs and our three unified mind packs guys plus 400 pokemon coins i'll take that all day every single day water horse is absolutely busted you guys go out there build the deck yourselves uh for my discord guys i left you guys the template there the exact build that i have the updated one that i made myself it is there in the discord for you guys to go check it out uh if you want to build it yourself uh alvarado what alvarado what's up man I, I said your name right i didn't say it you know i didn't say it wrong right I'm, i hope i did uh what's going on man i i know um i know you wanted to battle uh too I, you're, you're techno right you're, you're that's your other account guys guys uh yeah i i can't like that was insane guys i i for those of you who missed it this uh this the vod should be out tomorrow if you guys want to watch how we climbed how we started this tournament and how we finished it was absolutely insane path to the peak is such a crucial crucial card for this deck <laughs> it's insane guys um i mean shoot we're i said it was gonna be a, a relatively short stream but i'm like super pumped man your technos bro all right that's cool man uh thanks for stopping by um did you want to battle me by the way um i i said it was gonna be a short stream but i'm like super pumped i literally am super super energized right now we just won a freaking tournament let's open our packs before we start any kind of battling uh so we can see what we got we got three unified minds and three chilling rain let's open up the unified mind packs first uh if we can get a mewtwo and mew that'd be great i think i need one more or the alolan executor and rowlet one those are the ones that i need a lot to, okay i don't need a lot to use, but hey you know we'll take it oh my gosh guys that was insane we got another dark city we can use that before post rotation or i'm sorry before rotation for the eternatus deck a magna zone okay are we gonna get any type of gx and any gx would be great oh cool we got another jinx okay i needed that one too an unpheasant all right all right not too not too bad all the magic is gonna be here uh that's what i'm saying i'm calling it uh shadow rider let's go we're gonna call it shadow rider guys path to the peak again <laughs> let's go we got the big snack let's go rainbow rare santa conda v max this this night just you know it can't get any better it can't get any better other than other than getting a shadow rider <laughs> that's what i'm saying shadow rider i'm calling it here calling it 100 percent. okay maybe you know 150 <laughs> can we do it we got we got the rainbow snack i'm fine with the rainbow snack you know what that's fine we did get an avery though this is this is actually a really good counter to the eternatus like uh Habel had mentioned <laughs> rainbow snake that's what i'm saying Habel. no step on snake guys look at that no snap no step on snake for those of you who don't know that reference it is it's like a texas thing um alvarado let's go ahead and battle man um i'll do like a couple battles and then we'll end the stream because i am pretty tired still i'm a i'm actually the energy went down it was like the adrenaline rush it's already starting to go down i can literally feel it in my eyes but let's do a couple of battles let's get the energy out um alvarado let's go if you are uh if you have not added me yet if you uh since you are um new here i'll put my ign uh in the chat for anybody who wants to add me to um to go ahead and do some battles let's see but guys i i i just i cannot believe it man i i i literally cannot believe we just pulled that off that's <laughs> that's insane man let's see yeah if you guys haven't already too i completely forgot to mention uh hit that like button if you guys can just so i can get you know this video pushed out a little bit more that way more people can see this insane water horse deck 
uh so smash that like button if you guys can uh for that youtube out al youtube algorithm because it really helps your boy out here let's see trade tournament completed request okay i'm gonna assume that's you alvarado so i'm gonna assume that's you so we're gonna go ahead and do our battle with our water horse oops sorry i don't know i i didn't i think you were trying to send me an invite so i'll wait for you to send me the invite just so yeah there you go okay let's go ahead and do good old water horse baby let's keep the the wrecking train going <laughs> oh man that, that's that's insane i should have brought a water i'm thirsty man all i have next to me is the energy drinks that i was sent for sponsorship which i still have not done a video on that yet guys it's literally um it's literally what is it 9 24 p.m where i am um um, I can't drink an energy drink right now. I want to get some sleep even though I need to do a video on it because they are technically sponsors uh, And they gave me my own discount code if you guys want to support me Get make me some money drink some energy drinks, but I wouldn't recommend you doing it yet Wait till I do the review and if it's good, I'll let you guys know I'll post the video up and then you guys can start using my discount code to support me so that I can use that money to basically um, give you guys more code cards. So let's see, what are we working with here? Um, not the greatest start, but that's okay. Oh, I see you brought your chaotic swell. Okay. <laughs> um, we'll do that, and we'll done. We'll end it. Ugh. So. What I'm seeing here, yeah, what I'm seeing here is the I'll stuttered. I'm sorry, I stuttered. What I am seeing here is the Altaria. <clears throat> now, normally we would be scared because our Pokemon wouldn't do any damage to it, but we have a lineup of Drizziles, Sobbles, Inteleons, so that should not be any problem for us at all. We are going to focus on the Sobbles. And we're going to do that. Yep, we are going to go ahead and Marnie. There we go. Um, Evo Incense. Get Drizzle. Okay. I completely forgot I'm battling you guys now, so I gotta put my hand up. <laughs> I gotta put I gotta put my uh, my name bar to block it. Well, now you know my now you know my whole uh, hand. Let's see if you don't counter it now. <laughs> um, let's go ahead and do. Yeah, that's only for Pokemon V. Yeah, let's go ahead and do a... Yeah, we'll get a switch. We'll get a switch and end our turn there. Let's just hope Alvarado uh, wasn't paying attention to the stream and didn't see what we had in our hand. Crushing hammer. Let's see. Tails? Tails? Let's go! Finally, finally the crushing hammer doesn't hit us with the heads <laughs> see that's what this is the thing too this is the good thing about water horse is that you might get cheesed you, you know you'll probably you know more than likely get cheesed with an Altaria or Decidueye but we play basic Pokemon we play Drizzle, Sobble and Inteleon to counter uh, to counter those kind of cheeses so Lily's Poke Doll, okay, not bad. Huh. 
<laughs> Lissandry. <laughs> he saw it. He saw it. <laughs> okay, that's not a problem. Uh, let's see. Okay. Yes, we'll do that. We shall do that. Hmm. Okay, let's think. Yeah, I think we do that. I think that's I think that's the right move for this situation that we are in. I think that is the right move. Yeah, I knew it. I knew it. So, I was planning to uh, to boss up that Sob um Swablu, but I think this is the better alternative here. Yeah. Okay. We're just waiting for for Alvarado to make his move, and then we can try to um, then we can try to counter it. There we go. A Mew with bench barrier. Oh, wow. Okay, that's actually not a problem. Okay, now we can make our move. <laughs> well played. So, we're gonna do that. We're gonna grab a boss. And we are going to grab. Hmm. Yeah, I think we're going to go ahead and grab a boss and we're going to grab a pal pad just to get our bosses back. I think that's the right move to do here. Boss up that Altaria. Get our pal pads, get our bosses back. Go ahead and aqua bullet. Well, that and that. Yeah, I think that's the right move there. <laughs> well played, man. <laughs> this is this is the the Altaria the Altaria cheese deck that I once used to play a lot, but I no longer play it because the Decidui in Teleon is is actually a lot more efficient in terms of like spread damage, but nonetheless, it's still a really good deck. It's still a really good deck to counter uh, people with Pokemon V's and V Maxes. What are the odds, guys? What are the odds that we top deck? If we top deck um, a boss here, okay. Let's go. We got to get the boss. We got to get the boss's order here. We did not get it, but that's okay. Um, hmm. I think we'll be able to, we'll be able to look for the boss next turn. Even if he attacks us, it's not too much of an issue, I don't think. Shouldn't be. Bird Keeper saw that coming. For the attack. We should be okay. Yeah, we should be okay here. Lily's Poke Doll. Mm. 
Mm. Okay. Let's go. We got the Sobble. Perfect. Okay. I was worried because we only had... Yeah, I, we prized our other Sobble. So we get we get knocked out here, but that's not too bad of a that's not too bad of an issue. Let's see. Yeah, that's not too bad. Okay, he's got the knockout. Well played. <laughs> Big charm. Okay, so I see two three four perfect perfect okay <clears throat> you have to believe in the heart of the cards <laughs> hey you know it's true you do have to believe in the heart of the cards man that's all it comes down to uh Okay, so now we just got to chill for a bit until we can find some bosses. Because I think, let me see. Oh, yeah, yeah, we're still we're still pretty okay for, for we're still pretty okay. There we go. Go ahead and get that. Get a boss. Two, two. Okay. Okay. All right. All right. Not bad. Not bad. <laughs> Let's see if we can pull it off, guys. Thank you so much, Rini, for stopping by, by the way, man we're gonna have to believe really big in the heart of the cards right now to try to pull off the win against an altaria but i'm not too worried per se but we'll see how this turns out because um it's gonna be interesting just like it's gonna be pretty interesting okay 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 Let's go, guys. We're doing it. <laughs> we are doing it. Oh, yeah, for sure. Okay. Um, we're going to get the quick shooting on the Snorlax. Okay. We just need one more guys we just need one more so let's go ahead and get rid of the ice rider um we had the mew but doesn't really well actually the mew could help us yeah the mew could actually help us and you guys will find out why so we will yeah okay hmm okay yeah let's do let's do this got our bosses and our bucket we should be okay guys we should be okay
<laughs> Mew for side power. Yeah, you, you got the idea. You got the idea, Habel. That's what I'm saying, man. Uh, that's the idea, pretty much. Quick shooting. Um, we are going to go ahead and do... Uh, the water buckets. Go ahead and get Mew. Pass. We should be okay, guys. We should be okay. We're okay. We won. We won this, guys. <laughs> That was a good, that was a good try, man. You tried to cheese us, but it did not work. That was a good effort to cheese us, but nonetheless, we still managed to come out on top. 300 IQ, big brain plays. Let's go, guys. Let's go. Water horse still can't be stopped. <laughs> Yo, let's go. All right. All right. I like that. I like that. Now I know for sure if I ever come across a Decidueye or if I ever come across an Altaria, I know for certain that I can actually uh, have a good counter against it, at least a decent counter. But that required a lot of big brain plays, man. A lot of IQ. That required a lot of it. GG's, Alvarado, by the way. GG's, man. Let's keep the let's keep the battles going. Uh, water horse time. You know, you know what well, you know what time it is, guys. Let's get this going. <laughs> good game, Abel. It was a, it was a GG's man. That was a really good, uh, a really good thinking game, man. I had to, I had to do a lot of thinking there. <laughs> you have a good deck, by the way, Adam. Wow. Okay, we uh, we did not get the best starting hand. Okay. Uh, well, you know. Could have been a little bit better. Oh, okay. Hecleon. Okay, I see. I have not come across one of these decks before. I've not come across a Kecleon deck. So it's a first for me as it is for you guys. So we're going to see if this deck can pop off. Quick ball. So. I think I know what deck build this is. I think I've seen this. I can't remember whose it was. But. Yes. I think I saw somebody build this exact deck. I just. I just can't remember what it was. Yeah. That's a, that's an actually really good combo. Um. We're gonna have to we're gonna have to try something good here to to make this work. We don't need path to the peak, I don't think. Let's get the sobble. <laughs> well played. Let's go ahead and poke. Let's poke this this Yuxi. This is the main one we gotta poke, you know, because it if you guys didn't read it. The weakness is applied four times instead of two. So the, it's a disgusting combo. This one can definitely... This Uxie can help this Kecleon knock out any single Pokemon. It doesn't matter what. But it, it, it's crazy, man. Discard hand, draw seven. You're looking for a, a U-turn board. Hopefully, fingers crossed, you don't get it. No offense, but we need to knock this Uxie out. We get the knockout. That's great. Um, let's do that. Yes. I think what we do here is... Evo Incense. Now, the thing that I'm worried about here, right? We have a Marnie, but I'm worried that... I'm worried that he might 
we might not be able to get a water energy. That's my only fear. Is that we don't get a water energy. Whatever, right? You know what? Let's just do it. We're going to YOLO it. What's the worst that can happen, right? There's no way we don't get a water energy here. Zero chances we don't get a water energy here. Calling it right now. Let's go. <laughs> Let's go. We got the water energy. All right. That was a bit of a gamble, but I'm a gambling man. Okay. Let's get, get that Uxie out of there. We got a Marnie off of that. Okay. Not too bad. He would need a steel energy though to actually do some damage to us. But knowing this deck, it does play a lot of steel. It plays a lot of different varieties of energies, so I would not be surprised if he has a steel energy on hand. If he does, uh, that still wouldn't really knock us out. We should still be okay. Yeah, guys, this this is we're actually doing pretty decent right now. Pretty decent. There's that Yuxi. Okay, that might be a problem. Okay. Be right back. Okay, the door just opened by itself. Not saying it's haunted, but it does that. So, there. Wow. Wow, what are the odds of that? What are the odds of that? <laughs> That's an instant knockout. Um, the only thing I can see here that we can come back from is uh our inteleon that's probably what our next move is gonna have to be it's insane man Th that's an actually insane deck okay i like that though i like the creativity in that <laughs> one shot man a one turn knockout how the heck did you get that okay so i think what we're gonna do is we're gonna do that play the sambo we're gonna have to think again we're gonna have to use some big brain plays here. You're using Lysandry. That's two Lysandries you've discarded. More than likely, you probably have a four or a three combo. So what I think I'm gonna do is... That's three Marnies, that's fine. Let's do that. Let's get that out of there. Um Okay. We'll do that. Melanie. Pow pad, right? Yeah. And pow pad that. We won't need the Crobat anymore. So we'll get another Sobble. Okay. Okay. We're still somewhat okay. Um, we're still somewhat okay with all things considered. Uh, that he does not have another Lysandries. If he does, that's going to be a little bit of an issue. A Guzma. Okay. Okay. That is, that is an issue. Okay. A Guzma. Switch one of your opponent's bench Pokemon with their active Pokemon. Yeah. Okay. Wow. So, we are going to have to ride it on the Drizzile then. For sure, we're going to have to ride it on the Drizzile. Which, the energy attachments should be a problem for him. Okay. It's all on you, Drizzle. It's it's literally all on you. Um, let's do that. Okay, so I think I know what I'm going to have to do here. Evo Incense. Yes. Capacious and... Okay, well, we don't have an Evo Incense, but we do have a Pokecom. So, yeah, we're going to have to Pokecom, 
I almost messed up there, Pokecom. I had to think for a little bit. I actually had to use this brain inside my head. Inteleon. Now for the Inteleon is where we get the Capacious Bucket. And... Yeah, okay. So... Capacious and Boss. Yes, okay. Aqua Bullets, we're gonna do some damage to that Uxie. Okay. It, it was looking like we were caught there, but hey, we, we still might lose this, guys. We still might lose this. Hold on. I'll be right back. Okay, okay. I'm back. I'm back. I'm back. There. That way you guys can see what's going on. I had to, um, I had to do something really quick, but... Okay, let's see, let's see. That welder, man, that welder. Fingers crossed. Fingers crossed. He does not have... Does not have a steel energy, or electric energy, or any type of other energy. <laughs> Fingers crossed. How many welders has he used already? That's another welder. Okay. Cryo, I think. Um, that's his. It's got to be his last welder, right? One, two, three welders. Hmm. Ah, I see what you're doing. I see what you were doing, but that is not going to help you. Because we are drizzling. Um... Boss boss? Actually, yeah. Boss boss. Wait. Sure. Someone sniped you last game. <laughs> Bro, I know I, I I can't say I know how that feels, but uh it's tough, man. It, it is tough. So I think we're gonna have to get Drizzle going. Get that Kecleon out of here. Yeah. Aqua bullets. Do some damage on that Uxie. Man, we're we are we are cutting it close, guys. We are cutting it really close here. I know you have the welder. I just hope you don't have the energy. Because you've used a lot of fire energy already. It's five fire energy. Oh well, you're gonna get two back already. But you need a welder from the ones in your hand, though. There's the electric energy. Okay. Oh, man. Fingers crossed, guys. He does not have... He does not top deck the electric energy. Well, we tried our best. We tried our best against the Inteleon. 
this is actually uh i'm sorry kecleon it's actually a really really powerful deck man insane i have no problem losing against that kind of deck ggs uh adam that was a really good that was a really good freaking game man insane how kecleon can do one he 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 okos man kecleon okos and and takes out b maxes with ease but the problem i think with that deck is setting up the three um the three lake spirits the uxi azelf and mesprit finding those three to set up i think without playing expanded is actually pretty hard i don't think there's like a a card other than um i think well professor oaks he can't um i don't think he can play that in standard though after rotation comes but everybody um i think if you guys haven't already make sure you hit that like button guys for the youtube algorithm smash that subscribe button to help your boy get to 600 subscribers we are still on the road to 600 subscribers but guys yeah that that was a ggs avado man that, that was a really good game um i think that will do it for the live stream tonight uh it was just gonna be a, a little quick live stream thank you guys for everybody who stopped by who saw that tournament uh we actually won that freaking tournament with the water horse that was a lot of fun guys so thank you guys for stopping by we will see you guys next saturday around the same time i want to say we'll do this one at seven the next saturday but with that being said guys we will see you in the next one thank you guys for stopping by bye